but I went this, I saw two folks in an argument and they were like just going at it. It's like, you know what, you ain't gonna make it, you a stupid, you a African dude was like, I'm stupid. <laughs> Everything you touch will touch your dust. <laughs> If you ever been to the Bray Gallery, you know, it's, it's a real contention. Some of y'all right now want to laugh, but an African got to your scalp. I apologize, but it's so tight. An like African will find hair in places you didn't even know existed. I went to the Bray Gallery and I sat down in this chick's chair and I promise you, Shorty grabbed my throat. I was like, what are you doing? She said, stand very still, there's a piece of hair right there. I must get it unconnected back to your root. I was like, the devil is a lie. But so I thought I was afraid that these two, they got they got into it. They was arguing, and this one girl was like, "You know what? I'm not even paying you. You know, you're not paying me. <laughs> Your third born child will be born without that." <laughs> I was like, "Girl, give her money. Give her her money. It's not gonna end well for you. I'm uh, I'm single. I know it is a shocker to me too. Oh my god. <laughs> I am true story. Um." So there's a moment of silence, is what that was, <laughs> for my single state. Um, I am, this is, a, how do I say this? This is the only dating advice that my father ever gave me. He's like, Yvonne, listen to me, and listen to me very well. You cannot date until you get married. <laughs> <laughs> I take his advice, um, I guess it's really working. It's really working, that's the problem. This is how single I am. I used to work for a company called 100 Black Men. I still couldn't find one. Still could not find one. It was false advertising, guys. Uh, perhaps I should have asked the 100 white women that they were all married to for some advice. That's not even a put down. Seriously, Kimberly, how can I too get a Darnell in my life? Help me. Help me. Um. <laughs> wait till I get married, so I'm 33 years old, I'm a virgin, um, by the of Jesus. I'm waiting on the Lord, but he's taking a really long time. <laughs> so meet me in the back, I'm taking an application. <laughs> we got a cousin, a godson, grandfather, I'm good, like AARP is real. <laughs> they try to get rid of Obamacare, I'm trying to have insurance. Um, but I think God has a sense of humor because I'm a virgin. My last name is Orgy. I got questions. I got questions. I got questions. I got questions. Not gonna end well. <laughs> not gonna end well, Lord. Uh, here's the thing, though. I don't like dating. I don't. I, I'm not gonna be one I'm not that chick that like likes, likes to go out. I don't like dating at all. Except for when I get really hungry. Um, <laughs> That's the only reason to I know okay. every girl in here, so let me tell you right now, every girl in here has had that moment where she's like, I don't even like the Marcus. Okay, he's a fan. I, I will never ever talk to the Marcus. Nah, I don't care that he knows how to find Luke and John. I would never ever date the Marcus. One Friday night, you go to your fridge. Nothing. <sighs> <Man. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you right. I did tell you never to call me again. <laughs> you know I'll be joking. <laughs> so, did you still want to grab a bite? <laughs> no, tonight like it works. Now I'll meet you there. You still can't know where I live. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, fellas. I'm, I'm just going to give you some game right now, fellas. If a girl starts hitting you up and you haven't talked to her in about like three to four months, that ain't nothing but a foodie call. <laughs> <laughs> She's hungry. I know what it is, bro. I know what it is. And ladies, let me tell you right now, I see a lot of relationships end because, like, y'all mad, like, dudes, and just like, you just go at them. Turn out, I, I'm gonna school you out of some game. You don't have to go hard at the dude. Like, you don't have to go hard at the dude to, to like, make him mad. Like, ah, oh, he wasn't texting me back. I'm gonna let him know about himself. It's like, nah, nah. Take the most disrespectful word in the English dictionary. Little. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, 
tell you why. Sir, with the, with the camera cloth and glasses, you got a job? Yeah? Okay. You have a car? You got a house? You got your own place? Okay. <laughs> so what, you got your own place? <laughs> don't, don't nobody care about your little place. <laughs> You were doing good five seconds ago, and then I just dismantled your soul. With the word, that's all, that's all, ladies, just add a L-I-L in front of anything you say to a man, crush him. But in the name of the Lord, though. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, my parents, my parents are so ready to marry me, y'all. My father joined Facebook to socially network me. And I knew it was him because I saw all the like titles on the friend request. It was like Chief of oh, Umuda. I was like, nah, I'm not doing this. It's too much. <laughs> and at the time, I lived with my dad, <laughs> and I didn't know my daddy knew me on, you know, Facebook. So I go with the friend request. I'm in, the, I'm in the kitchen, minding my business. My father comes down. He's like, eh, uh -huh. this is a very interesting sight. So you think that you will ignore my request for friendship, is it? <laughs> on this, your face, your book. <laughs> I'm continuing to eat from my fridge. <laughs> like two coconuts growing on a mango tree. Something is not right. <laughs> the proverb is this, stop it. So I accept it, and my dad is tagging me. He's taking every picture I've ever taken, and he's tagging me on it. He's like, this, this is my daughter. She is right for marriage. <laughs> Inbox me for more information. <laughs> Like that, did you just call me right <laughs> on the World Wide Web, sir? But then, like three days later, I was like, "So, did you get any hits, though?" <laughs> Let's talk about this. I'm convinced. Y'all remember the girls that got kidnapped? Like the hashtag Bring Back Our Girls. I used to live in the former kidnapping capital of Nigeria, it's a place called Portaka. It's a real place. Um, okay, you made it out too. God bless you. <laughs> We have your daughter, Mama. Oh my goodness gracious, no. <laughs> Mr. Kidnapper, what is the ransom? Say the price, we'll pay for it. The ransom is one million dollars. One million what? <laughs> Mr. Ka Mr. Kidnapper, what is your name? <laughs> oh, Minna, that's a very nice name. What school did you go to? <laughs> so you studied engineering, but kidnapping is your hobby. <laughs> The economy is very bad, it's not your fault. <laughs> Open up. Are you by chance married? You are not. When Jesus says yes. <laughs> Nobody can say no. Any children? No, please, call my daughter on the phone. <laughs> I get on the phone. Mommy, I'm so scared. Mommy, please. You want to shut up your mouth? <laughs> Don't you see? What the devil <laughs> meant for me. <laughs> God has stunned it around for your good. <laughs> One million dollars. Who else is asking that kind of bright price for you? <laughs> Relax yourself. <laughs> you are in your husband's place. <laughs> I'm not the only one who's holding it down. I got these keeping it locked till I get that rock shirt. That's right. Let them know. Ladies, you ain't got to do a lot of talking. If a dude tries to holler at you, like, <laughs> are you about it or not? Um, so I got a booth, but I want to give this away to somebody who's keeping it locked till they get that rock. Anybody? I'm gonna just, I don't know how to make this happen. Who wants this? Okay, she, she's real serious with it. Um, she's got to find me out. I see you. You trying to get a child? Thank you. Hey, God bless you guys.